सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणा आलें कुरुणालीं नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योज्याप्तिहाय लक्षणमूर्त नम सहनावत सहन वक्त सह वीर कवाह तेजस्वीनावतीतमस्तमाशावह ओं शांत शांत शांति यो ब्रह्मण विधा पूर्व यो वेदाश्च प्रणोति तस्म तघुम दिप्रकाशम मुमुक्षुर्वै शरणमंत्रपज्ये शांति कामनायांत्रिक संसिध आदिमत्यांतवर्जित आनंदघन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्महे कंटिन्यूंग विद दी थर्ड पाद ऑफ दी फर्स्ट अध्याय ब्रह्म सूत्र दि वृत्ति का रसेस इत्थम द्वितीय पादे अस्पष्ट ब्रह्मलिंग वाक्याना प्रायशः उपास्यत्वेन ब्रह्मणी समन्वय प्रतिपादी प्रत्यपादी सॉरी सो इत्थम द वे वी हैव सीन इन द फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड पादास फर्स्ट पादा वाज डीलिंग विद द उपनिषद मंत्र विचार हैविंग स्पष्ट ब्रह्मलिंग द मंत्रास वे easier to see as having tatparya vishaya as brahma in the second pada those mantras which do not have those vakyas upanishad vakyas which do not have clear tatparya vishaya as brahma those were dealt with but most of them were in the upasana kanda the brahma that was the tatparya vishaya of those sections of upanishads where for the purpose of upasana now in this third pada the same aspashta brahmalinga vakyas are there meaning vakyas which do not have an easy conclusion in brahma as tatpare vishaya they are being dealt with but these vakyas are prayasha mostly they are in yana kanda they have to be understood there is no upasana there there may be some vakyas which are upasana para but most of the vakyas which are dealt with in this pada are yana para brahma jnana para so itham dvitiya pade aspashta brahma linga vakyanam prayasha upasyatvena brahmani samanvaya pratyapadi it was established in the second pada of this first adhyaya as to the vakyas have tatparya in brahma they are not clear they have to be analyzed well looking at a lot of things shruti linga ityadi prakaran ityadi but mostly they were dealing with the brahma which is upasya brahma one which should be meditated upon for a certain phala from the vedanta perspective it is all for brahma loka prapti for krama mukti or jeevan mukti vaya chitta shuddhi and ekagrata through the upasana and if there are karma antargata upasanas then the karma will give you chitta shuddhi and the upasana will you give you ekagrata which is needed for understanding of aikya which is the final conclusion final tatparya vishaya of the vedas complete aduna now what is being done aduna tadrshanam vakyanam prayasha gnyatvena brahmani samanvayam pratipadayetum tritiya padaha ayam arabhyate so this third pada is begun with the intention to establish the samanvaya into the same brahma but as gnyatva as gnya gnya brahma gnyatvena the brahma has niyatvam also not only upasyatvam so upasya brahma 
vakyas have been looked into which we are not clear as dealing with brahma and now such vakyas are picked for analysis which are not clearly showing brahma as tatpare vishaya but that brahma which is going to be established as niya brahma brahma that should be known for mukti vaishvanara adikarana uh, vaishvanara adikarane trilokyaatma vaishvanara parmatma ityabhitam so vaishvanara vaishvanara adikarane towards the closing of the second pada we have seen vaishvanara upasana and there who is this trilokya atma trilokya shariri one who has all the three lokas as the sharira meaning the entire universe as we know and we do not know that is the sharira of this upasya entity who is that that vaishvanara who is upasya is Brahma, Paramatma Ityabhitam. Brahma, Paramatma, Saguna Brahma. This was established by discussing the context, by discussing various flaws in the Puro Paksha. And the Siddhanta is that Brahma, Paramatma alone can be the possible meaning of vaishvanara shabda there now this trilokyaatma vaishvanara paramatma iti abhitam this has been stated as a final conclusion if at all that is so if at all the trilokyaatma in vaishvanara adikarana in vaishvanara upasana is paramatma vaishvanara who is trilokyaatma is paramatma then this three lokas are his sharira paramatma sharira meaning paramatma is in the form of the trilokya atma if you look at swarupa also is the three worlds the entire universe then what is the aadhar of this entire universe tarhi trilokya ayatanam trilokya ayatanam anyat ityakshipya what is the akshepa now if the if this brahma that you talk of oh just a second somebody is waiting for the patha i forgot to switch on the automatic automatic entry okay just sorry for the deviation okay so tarhi trilokyaayatanam anyat ityakshipya the the ayatana the aadhara ashraya of this entire universe has to be different this is the akshepa if trilokya atma is vaishvanara is paramatma then who is the aadhar of that trilokya trilokya ayatanam anyat tasmad anyat paramatmanah anyat it has to be different from this paramatma vaishvanara vaishvanara paramatmanah anyat ityakshipya samadhanad akshepa sangatya athava there will be athava so there is one possibility as to why this sutra has come up so one possibility is that there is an akshepa so akshepa sangati is there the akshepa being the trilokya atma is paramatma therefore trilokya ayatana has to be different to resolve this akshepa the first sutra in the third pad has come up or upakramastha sadharana shabdasya vakya sheshastha dhyumurdatvaadina brahma paratva muktam tadvad atrapi upakramastha sadharana ayatanatvasya अमृतशेषसेक्यशेषस्तुत्वलिंगेन परछिन्न प्रधानादिपरत्वस्तूष्टांतसंगत्यादम आरभते 
the other possibility as to why this pradikarana is begun with the first sutra of the third pada ju ju vadi ju ju vadyadikaranam so this adikarana of ju loka bhu adi loka dealing with the analysis of which is the aadhar of this universe of these three lokas ಉಪಕ್ರಮಸ್ತ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಶಬ್ದಸ್ಯ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಶಬ್ದ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಇಂದಿ ಉಪಕ್ರಮ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪಾಠ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪಾದ ಇಂದಿ ವೈಶ್ವಾನ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಉಪಾಸನ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಶಬ್ದ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಉಪಕ್ರಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಕ್ಯಶೇಷಸ್ತ ಜ್ಯೂಮೂರ್ಧತ್ವಾದಿನ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯಶೇಷ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ so whoever is, so whatever is the vakya shesha there in the vakya shesha ju murdatvaadi dharmas have been shown so those dharmas those dharmas are indicative of brahma and not anyone else or anything else vaishwanra cannot be jatragni it cannot be sharira jeeva it cannot be ಭೂತಾಗ್ನಿ ಲೌಕಿಕಾಗ್ನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಜ್ಯೂ ಈಸ್ ಮೂರ್ಧ ಸ್ವರ್ಗಲೋಕ ಈಸ್ ಮೂರ್ಧ ದಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸ್ಯ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರತ್ವ ಮುಕ್ತ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈಶ್ವಾನರ ಶಬ್ದ ವಾಸ್ ಶೋನ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತದ್ವತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಷೇಪ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಆಕ್ಷೇಪ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಬೈ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ತದ್ವತ್ ಅತ್ರ ಅಪಿ ತದ್ವತ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಉದಾಹರಣ ಗಿವನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ an example mantra which was interpreted in this manner the upasana which was interpreted in this manner by the siddhanti says the purva pakshi tadvat atrapi in this mundaka section also in the mundaka upanishad some mantras have upakrama and vakya shesha what is upakrama there upakramasta sadharana ayatanatvasya there is a sadharana ayatana in the upakramasta sadharana asya not sadharana ayatana but ayatana is shown in the upakrama which is showing sadharana amrutasya esha setuh iti amrutasya esha setuh iti vakya sheshasta setutva lingena so upakramasta sadharana ayatana is there and amrutasya esha setu is not upakrama it is vakya shesha it is as the upanishad progresses as the upanishad concludes or the section upanishad means not the entire upanishad but that section of the upanishad when it concludes it has the mantra amrutasya esha setu iti so thereby sadharana ayatana meaning upakramas a sadharana shabda which shows the ayatana the ashraya support of the entire universe trilokya that is what that is in the beginning which can be taken the way you have taken says the puru pakshi to the siddhanti sadharana shabda has been mentioned now in the end amrutasya esha setu hu amrutasya esha the same entity which is which has gone by in upakrama that is the setu also what is setu it's a bridge for amruta for immortality basically amrutasya amrutasya means amrutatvasya amrutatvasya esha setu bhavati now if you are taking vaishwanara paramatma trilokya dehi now here amrutasya setu amrutasya esha setu will have to force you to reinterpret your understanding your conclusion says the puro pakshi why because amrutasya esha setu setu is parichinnam eva is limited setu a bridge is limited it is a bridge to cross over to immortality from mortality let's say then this bridge has to be limited and being limited it cannot be paramatma 
Paramatma is limitless. So with this kind of a kind of an example, example in the sense, Tadvadatrapi. The way you have taken that becomes an example. Now the exemplified is mantra. This mantra also has to be, Mundaka mantra also has to be interpreted in the same manner that you have used. The same process that you use, same Mimamsa that you use that Vakya Sheshastha has, has to have additional force of strength which will override the Upakramastha Sadharana. I forgot to mention yesterday uh, in that section, wanted to say that whatever is in the Upakrama Sadharana, if there is a Upakrama Sadharana, then that Prathama Sadharana Charama Asadharana Sya Niyamanam Sambhavati. So if there is Asadharana, so then Sadharana and Asadharana you have to look into and analyze and uh, you look into analyze and then conclude the Mimamsa in such a manner that the meaning fits in properly in the context. The sadharana may need to be reinterpreted. However, if the Prathama Vishesha it is there, it is not sadharana, there is Vishesha as to Vaishwanarasya. Murdha, Swargaha, Jyulokaha, then you cannot have reinterpretation any which way because the meaning will fall apart. Now here, here what has been said is that you have to apply the same rule that you applied earlier and you have to reinterpret your understanding so that it fits the context as per what the Amrutasya Esha Setuhu. As per the Vakya Shesha, you have to reinterpret the Upakramastha Sadharana analysis that you have done in this, using the Sadharana that is there in the Upakrama. Now, this Amrutasya Esha Setu is a Vishesha. This Vishesha, Vakya Shesha Vishesha, has to conclude the Upasana there in Mundaka as being as having the upasya as parichinna, as being of the parichinna entity. It cannot be paramatma who is aparichinna, who is vyapaka tattva. Iti vakya sheshastha setutva lingena, setutva becomes a linga, setu amruta sesha setu hu, that has setutva, setutva becomes a linga, tena lingena, parichinna pradhana di paratvamastu, iti drishtanta sangatya va idam adhikaranam aravate. So the Parichinna, Avachinna is Parichinna, Setu is Parichinna, therefore that Parichinna has to mean either Pradhana or something else, Jeevaitya. So Pradhana Adi Paratvamastu. Upasana is having Upasya as Pradhana or some other limited entity, not limitless Paramatma. Iti Drishtant Sangatya. So either there is an Akshepa Sangati, or there is a Drishtanta Sangati whereby this Adhikarana has come up in the Patha. Idam Adhikaranam Aravate. Ju Vadya Adhikaranam. So Ju Dhu Vadya Adhikaranam is what? Ju Bhu Adi. Bhu Adi Adhikaranam. Bhu Loka, Ju Loka, Ityadi Adhikaranam. And what is the Sutra there? First Sutra is Ju Vadya Adhikaranam Swashabdhat. Ju Vadya Adhikaranam Swashabdhat. Somehow this has become smaller. Ju. So it's not a footnote or anything, it's the part of the sutra. So what is sutra artha? Jugvadhyayatanam is what? Brahma eva. Ayatana is adhishthana. So what is the adhishthana of Dhyuloka, Bhuloka, Ityadi, all the three lokas, triloka adhi, ayatanam adhishthanam is what? Brahma eva. Why? Swa Shabdat. So is so is Atma. Brahmatma. By Swa, there is an Atma Shabda used in the mantra. Mundaka mantra. And thereby that Atma means itself. It is its own Ashraya. See, 
What is the karana for ghata? Ghata the prapancha. Ghata is an upalakshana for the entire prapancha. What is the karana for ghata patadi? For ghata the, if you take individual things, then for ghata the karana is brut. The we are looking at mostly the analysis here is what it is all based on the upadana karana. Nimitta karana is is different in these cases. The kulala is nimitta karana. There is sahakari karana, chakra danda ityadi. But what is important to see is the upadana karana. What is the material cause? The material cause for the pot is clay. What is the material cause for the cloth, pata? It is tantu. It is threads. The threads are the material cause. So if you keep on analyzing each and every entity, each and every karya, each and every product in the universe, obviously not every product can be analyzed, but what do you analyze? You analyze enough. How much do you analyze? You analyze enough to get the idea as to each product should have a cause. Each effect has a cause. That cause, if that is an effect, it's a produce, then that also has a cause. You go for the cause of that. So let's say threads are made from cotton. It's a cotton cloth. Threads are made from cotton. So cotton, the cotton fruit, which comes of the tree, that is the cause. And so on. If you keep on analyzing a bunch of products, finally you land on something which is common across all these and that happens to be Ishwara. As per the Shastra, it is Paramatma who is a causeless cause. Because the question will come up, who is the cause for Ishwara? Who brought Ishwara into existence? Ishwara, if he is brought into existence, then you will have Anavastha Dosha. You will have a logical flaw ad infinitum, infinite regress. So you have to stop somewhere where there is no further analysis possible really. You will have to keep on imagining one of the uh, one after the other beyond the Shastras which has no Pramana at all. Shastra is the Pramana here. Thereby Paramatma who is a causeless cause is himself the Adhara for the three, lo three Lokas. He appears in the form of three lokas, which is his karya, and being a vivartha karya, he himself is the adhara. Just like the last part, ha, example of Swapna. There is no better example than Swapna. Everything is Swapnavat. Just like the dreamer has become the entire prapancha, all the three lokas in the prapancha, the sentient and the insentient in the Swapna prapancha. Without undergoing a change, who is the Adhara for that? If the, if the Swapna Prapancha is the Atma of Swapna Prapancha, Surup of Swapna Prapancha is the Swapna Drashta. Let's say, just like the objection here, if it Vaishwanaradhi Karane, Trilokyatma, Vaishwanaraha, Paramatma, Ityabhitam. Now let's put our Swapna here. So Swapne, in Swapna, Swapne, Swapna was thayam. The Trilokya Atma. What is Trilokya Atma? Whatever you see in the Swapna. In the Swapna also there is Swarga, Bhuloka, Ityadi, Patal Loka. All these Lokas are there. Antariksha basically. Between the Bhuloka or you take all the 14 worlds. All the 14 worlds. Basically the entire universe. That is the meaning of Trilokya. So there is Triloka. Basically Triloka and Triloka. Taddita is Trilokya. Trilokya Atma. Triloka Sammandhi. Swarupatvena is Trilokya Atma. So that Swapna Triloka Sambhandi Trilokya Atma Kaha Swarupam Kasya Kasya Swarupam. The Swapna is Swapna Loka is Kasya Swarupam. The entire man is Swapna Prapanchaha Swarupam Yasya Sahakaha. That has to be the Swapna Drashta. So Swapne Trilokya Atma Swapna Trilokya Atma Swapna Drashta If that is Swapna Drashta Then Tarhi Swapna Trilokya Ayatanam Anyat Swapna 
द्रष्टुहु अन्यत इत्याक्षिप्य सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू इमेजिन विद द एग्जांपल सो देयर कैन यू हैव एन आक्षेप दैट सम आधारा हैज टू बी इमेजिन अदर देन द स्वप्न दृष्टा फॉर द स्वप्न लोका स्वप्न प्रपंच स्वप्न कार्य ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स सेंशिएंट एंड इनसेंशिएंट बीइंग्स इन द स्वप्न नो हु इज द आधारा अधिष्ठाना इट इज दैट स्वप्न दृष्टा हिमसेल्फ द स्वरूप ऑफ द स्वप्न इज the swapna drashta and the aadhara for that prapancha the swapna drashta also is the swapna drashta himself because what is the question having the basis as if you look at it this trilokya atma if the or the swarup of the three lokas is vaishwana who is parmatma then the aadhara for trilokya is different meaning the aadhara for parmatma is different if you look at it that is what the meaning is because त्रैलोक्यात्मा वैश्वानारायण परमात्मा और ऑल इन सामान अधिकरण्यम सो अधिकरण इज परमात्मा हिमसल विच इज द्री त्रैलोक्यात्मा द स्वरूप ऑफ द थ्री लोकास दैट वन विच इज अधिष्ठान फॉर त्रैलोक्य आत्मा इज अधिष्ठान फॉर परमात्मा ऑल्सो सो इफ यू लुक एट द पूर्व पक्ष ऑब्जेक्शन त्रैलोक्य आयतनम अन्यत विल अमाउंट टू मी परमात्मन आयतनम अन्यत विच इज रेडिक्यूल यू डोंट सी इट इन दी आक्षेप देर बट दैट्स वॉट इट विल मीन इफ यू एनलाइज इफ देर इन सामान देन इफ यू त्रैलोक्य आयतना इज डिफरेंट देन परमात्मा आयतन हेज टू बी डिफरेंट विच के नॉट बी दि केस जस्ट लाइक स्वप्न प्रपंच आयतना इज स्वप्न दृष्टा while being the swarup of sapna itself sapna loka so with that example it should be clear that that objection can be answered by saying that sapnavat paramatma api trilokya ayatanam api so so shabda atma shabda is there and pramana is what we looked at an example to drive home the understanding प्रमाण ये शास्त्र शास्त्र इट्स सेल्फेज स्वप्नवत मिथ्या प्रपंच है स्वप्नवत मिथ्या स्वप्नवत एग्जांपल इज नॉट स्वकपोलो कल्पित इट इज नॉट इमेजिंड बाय सम समवन एल्स व्हाट भगवान गौड़पादाचार्य डज व्हेन ही शोज यू नो दी दी कारिका इन दी कारिका व्हेन ही शोज स्वप्नवत मिथ्यात्व इट इज ऑल बेस्ड ऑन मांडुक्य उपनिषद इट्स it is based on shruti so sva shabdat is the pramana ved sva atma brahmatma shabda has been used which stands for parmatma that itself is ayatana therefore jyuvadhyayatanam brahma eva parmatma eva sva shabdat atra purva pakshe pradhanya pradhanadyupas upastihi upasana is having upasya as pradhana ityadi claims the purva pakshi सिद्धांत ब्रह्म प्रमा ब्रह्म प्रमितिर इति ब्रह्म प्रमितिर प्रमिति प्रमा हेज सेम मीनिंग ब्रह्म प्रमितिर इति फल भेद वेर एज सिद्धांत सेज दैट इन दि मुंडकोपनिषा देर इज नो उपासना इन यस्मिन यस्व पृथ्वी चातरिक्ष ओतम इत्यादि सो दीज मंत्र इन दि मुंडका आर नॉट उपासना पर दे आर ज्ञान पर What is the jnana vishaya? Jnana vishaya is Brahma. Whereas the Puro Pakshi is saying it is Upasana para and the Upasana vishaya meaning Upasya is Pradhanadi. Mundake Shruyate Yasmin Dyaup Prithvi Chantariksham Motam Ityadi So Yasmin Yasmin Ayatane अधिष्ठाने आश्रये इत्यादि इन विच लोकस जौहु पृथ्वी च अंतरिक्ष ओतम सो पृथ्वी इज भूलोका जौ इज द्यूलोका सो द्यु भू आदिपदेन अंतरिक्ष दी थर्ड लोका दट इज त्रैलोक्य सो त्रिलोक त्रिलोक सो ऑल दीज थ्री लोका त्रिलोक यस्मिन ओतम in which it is all woven together meaning whatever is the aadhara for all these three lokas the entire universe to rest upon 
वॉट इज दैट इफ यू से दैट जू पृथ्वी एंड अंतरिक्ष त्रिलोक आत्मा इज वैश्वानर विच इज परमात्मा देन यस्मिन इज सप्तमी सो यस्मिन तत्प्रोतम लोकत्रय प्रोतम दैट हेज टू बी डिफरेंट क्लेम्स इ पूर्व पक्षी तत्र किंचित आयतनम प्रतीयते यस्मिन यस्मिन एंड ओतम यस्मिन ओतम इन विच इट इज ऑल दिस थ्री लोकास आर पुट टुगेदर दैट हैज टू बी डिफरेंट सो तत्र इन दैट मुंडक सेक्शन तत्र जुवादीनाम जुवादीनाम ओतत्वेन किंचित आयतनम प्रतीयते देयर इज अ सर्टेन अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर एनीवन हु हियर्स अ सप्तमी यस्मिन नोतम सो देयर इज एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग सम काइंड ऑफ अ इट अपीयर्स वी से इट सीम्स टू बी इट सीम्स टू बी सो इट अपीयर्स सो इट अपीयर्स दैट देयर इज सम आयतना अधिष्ठाना व्हिच हैज टू बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट व्हिच इज अधिष्ठित व्हाट इज दैट आयतना तत्किम तत् आयतनम किम प्रधानम उत जीव आवस्वी ब्रह्म संशय प्रधानादी पूर्वपक्ष सो पूर्व पूर्वपक्ष पूर्वपक्षी से प्रधान और जीव और प्रधान आदि मीन प्रधान और जीव प्रधान कैन बी दी सपोर्ट फॉर दैट और जीव कैन बी सपोर्ट फॉर दैट लोकस इन विच ऑल दिस इज वोन टुगेदर आहस्वित ब्रह्म सिद्धांत से ब्रह्म सो दीज आर थ्री ऑप्शन नौ सिद्धांत अस्तु जुवाद्यायतन जौश्च भूश्च जुभ जुभ आदि ये आदि दिवचर सो जुलोक एंड भूलोक पुटुगेदर दर दिन इतर इतर द्वंद्व देन दैट इतर इतर द्वंद्व द्वंद्व जुभ डिफिकल्ट टू प्रोनौंस जुभ आदि य आदि यौहु पृथ्वीअरिक्ष आत्मक That is a tad jubwadi. That is samasa. So samasa is being explained. So finally, you land on jubwadi. That is jubwadi, and then ayatanam. Tasya ayatanam. What is the ayatana, ashraya, adhisthanam of that jubwadi? Jubwadi meaning jubwadi is jub meaning swargaloka. Then who is prithvi and adi pade na antariksham. So all these three lokas. Basically, jubwadi means lokatrayam, and lokatrayam se tasya ayatanam is equal to adhisthana. What is the adhisthana? Adhisthana is Brahma. This is Siddhanta. Kuta? What is the reason? Kuta? Swashabdat. Swashabdat. This is the mula. Not marked it. Swashabda. So swashabda is what? Swasya parabrahmana ha vacha ka ha ya atma shabda ha. Where is it in the mantra? तमे वैक जानत आत्मा सो यस्व पृथ्वी चातरिक्ष ओतम साट्स देर बट देन वाक्यशेष इज देर तमे वैक जानत आत्मा श्रुत तस्मा अर्थ सो इट इज हर्ट सो इट इज देर इन मंत्र इट से सें मुंडक मंत्र से आत्मा एंड आत्मा इज वॉट आत्मा इज स्वशब्द Talks about oneself, of oneself what meaning of Brahma. Parab swashabda is equal to swasya, atmana ha, parab Brahma na ha, vacha ka ha, yaha atma shabda. So that parab Brahma vacha ka shabda is atma. Tam eva ekam jana tha. May you know that as one entity, single entity, that atma. Atma, if you take jiva atma, it is not one. Jiva atmas are many. सो तमेव एक जानथ मे यू नो दैट एज वन दैट वन सिंगल एंटिटी व्हाट इज दैट यत यत तम यत इज यस्मिन हियर यस्मिन 
यस्मिन् लोकत्रयम् उतम तम एव एकम जानथ मे यू नो दैट एज एकम एव अद्वितीय ब्रह्म व्हिच इज आत्मा व्हिच इज बाय आत्मा शब्द इट इज कॉल्ड आत्मानम तमेव एकम आत्मानम तम जानथ मे यू नो जानथ सो देयर बाय इति श्रुतः तस्माद इत्यर्थः इति श्रुतः तस्माद इत्यर्थ तस्माद हेतु हो सो शब्द दैट इज तस्माद सो शब्द इज आत्म परब्रह्म शब्द परमात्मा एंड तस्माद स्व शब्दात इत्यर्थः एवञ्च सो दैट इज हेतु पंचमी सो दिस इज द रीजन रीजन हैज बीन गिवन श्रुति हर्षन सेज दैट इट इज परमात्मा व्हिच इज द आयतन अधिष्ठान फॉर लोकत्रय एवञ्च उपक्रमस्थ साधारण आयतनत्वस्य गौण सेतुत्व लिंगात प्रथम श्रुत आत्मश्रुत्या ब्रह्म परत्वम एव न प्रधानादि परत्वम इति भावः सो द ऑब्जेक्शन हैज टू ओ देयर इज अ उपक्रम एंड वाक्यशेष द वाक्यशेष शुड करेक्ट द उपक्रम अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज उपक्रम इज साधारण इफ दैट इज द क्लेम व्हाट इज द आंसर एवञ्च उपक्रमस्थ साधारण आयतनत्वस्य देयर इज अ साधारण इन द उपक्रम एज आयतन देयर इज अ सपोर्ट सम सपोर्ट हैज बीन बट गौण सेतुत्व लिंगा द सेतु शब्द इज गौणा देयर इट इज नॉट लिटरली सेतु व्हेन यू से इट्स इट्स अ ब्रिज टू क्रॉस ओवर इट इज नॉट अ लिटरल परिच्छिन्न ब्रिज इट इज नॉट अ लिमिटेड ब्रिज दिस ओमकारा इज अ ब्रिज टू क्रॉस ओवर इन कथा आल्सो यू हैव दिस द ओमकारा विल लीड टू सगुण ब्रह्म एज वेल एज निर्गुण ब्रह्म से धर्मराज यमराज धर्म यमराज टू नचिकेता देयर सो देयर ओमकारा इज परब्रह्म वाचक दैट परब्रह्म इज एज दो ब्रिज सेतु इव सेतु हु नॉट लिटरली सेतु हियर आल्सो इट इज सेतु इव सेतु हु नॉट लिटरली सेतु परब्रह्म के नॉट बी परिच्छिन्न एट ऑल परिच्छिन्न ओनली from the ajnani's perspective and to help this ajnani there are these words used whereby omkara becomes a setu as though similarly this parabrahma is as though a setu setu to cross over set setutva linga is gauna the se, linga is not gauna really but se, setutva shabda is gauna therefore linga also will become gauna you cannot use it as a conclusive word to correct the mimamsa that has already been done and if you look at the entire context also the brahma meaning alone will fit in which will be shown further into other sutras gauna setutva lingat prathama shruta atma shrutya brahma paratvam eva so the atma shabda in the beginning itself in the mantra so even if the setu word is vakyashesha still yasmin dev prithvi chantariksham otam then further tameva ekam janata yasmin protam tam janata atmanam that atmanam is in samanadikaranam with tam which is in samanadikaranam with yasmin see yasmin is a different case just because yasmin is a different case does not mean that tam which is dvitiya and yasmin which is saptami atmanam tam atmanam which are dvitiya dvitiya vibhakti and yasmin which is in saptami they are not in samana adikaran that is not the meaning because generally we hear that the vibhakti should be same but if you look at it what is the vyutpatti of the samasa saman samana adikaranam is tadita of samana adikaran samana adikaran is the pratipadika to which taddita pratyay will be added shanj pratyay samanadi karanasya bhavaha samanadi karanyam tasya bhavaha shanj shanj pratyay is added you got samanadi karanyam you got adi vriddhi tadditeshu achamadehe vriddhi so vriddhi took place samanadi karanyam became saman samanadi karanyam akara akara became akara and then you got here from the shanj pratyaya so you got samanadi karanyam vyakara yaseti cha there is a lopa there and then 
you got samanadi karan so samanadi karana is what now that is a samasa it is a bahuri samasa samanam adhikaranam yayoho yayoho padayoho yayoho shabdayoho tau shabdau samana adhikaranau tayoho bhavah samanadikaranyam so samana adhikaranau those which have samana adhikarana they are samana adhikaranau shabdau so samanam is one samanam adhikaranam yayoho those two shabdas which have one adhikarana that adhikarana is what it is padartha so two shabdas or padas which have the same padartha in this case yasmin iti shabdasya and then tam or atmanam we'll, tam is anyway pronoun so we'll say atmanam tam atmanam that atmanam iti shabdasya cha adhikaranam kim ekam eva adhikaranam asti that is or tam iti shabda and yasmin iti shabda so we'll take pronouns yasmin iti saptami vibhaktau ya shabda ha tasya shabdasya and tam iti dvitiya vibhakti so vibhaktau what is there in this vibhakti or tam iti shabdasya kim adhikaranam ekam eva adhikaranam atma atma iti padartha that is the adhikarana that atma is brahma so yasmin and tam are in samanadhikarana the atma is also in samanadhikaranyam to that and thereby it is a single padartha iti shrutaha tasma ityartha evamcha upakramasya sadharana ayatanatvasya that sadharana ayatana which has been discussed as yasmin yasmin iti shabdena yasmin otam iti phrase yasmin otam with those words sadharana ayatana what is that because it is a pronoun it is a uh, sarvanama you don't know what it is being talked about but then there is a vidheya so yasmin tam vidhes atma atmanam is vidheya there so atma has been taught as being that ayatana thereby gauna setutva ling the linga which comes up later in the vakya shesha showing that setu amrutasya esha setu this is the mantra which will be the vakya shesha mantra in mundaka upanishad amrutasya esha setu as i said i don't want to go into the entire mantras because it is too time consuming and you know we will enter the upanishad and then there is more in their bhashyas there that is why you know the vritti has picked up the exact words which are needed we need to understand only this much if you have studied mundaka earlier well and good if not it is okay because context wise we are picking up the meaning and we are understanding it is a jnana kanda where wherever the jyo prithvi and antariksha the three lokas are woven together put together in which adhikarana what is that adhikarana purva pakshi says it is pradhana ityadi pradhana or jiva and who is the upasya in this upasana siddhanti says and what is his claim why because amrutasyesha setu setu word is limited parichinna it cannot mean paramatma therefore that setu has to be pradhana or jiva which is parichinna not paramatma that's all it is that's all we need to for complete understanding also this is all that we need however siddhanti says that yasmin jyo prithvi cha antariksham otam there sadharana yasmin shabda which is heard you cannot go further in vakya shesha and say that amruta shesha setu this sadharana is no longer asadharana because there is an asadharana vishesha in the same opening mantra what is that tam eva ikam janatha atmanam in the opening section itself there is a vishesha also it is not sadharana anymore so sadharana ayatana cannot be cannot be having this gauna setu as linga for correction for correction is sense for the right analysis as you think says the siddhanti to the purva pakshi however the vishesha that is sitting exactly around, around that opening statement which is atma shabda is conclusive enough, enough so you won't to so that will drive the that, so that will drive the vakya shesha where you have amruta shesha setu that setu twa will become gauna because setu is a is a rhetoric it is a 
it is a an upachara it is a figurative usage it is it is not literal therefore that parichinnatvam is also not literal parichinnatvam the limitedness of the bridge setu shabda is not literal because setu itself is not literal it is a figurative usage to drive home the point that it is going to carry you to your destination it is going to lead you to your destination you can walk using this support therefore it is all figurative it is not a literal bridge evanch upakramasya sadharana ayatanatvasya gauna setutva linga prathama shruta atma shrutya brahma paratvam eva prathama shruta atma shabda is vishesha it will take away the upakramasya sadharanatvam itself the sadharanatvam has become vishesha now visheshatva has been shown that it is a conclusive shruti itself that shruti is baliyasi it is stronger pramana than your linga so gauna setutva the setutva which is gauna will make your linga as opposed to another linga which is not gauna it will be secondary but linga itself is secondary in mimamsa compared to shruti shruti is the most stronger indicator to land on or shruti is one that will drive home the final meaning if shruti is not there then only you will go shruti linga uh, prakarana ityadi so all those you will follow only when shruti is not there but shruti her itself is saying atma then you don't need linga for anything you don't even look for linga because shruti is the is if sakshar shabda which will drive home the understanding in the beginning itself there is no akanksha left to be satisfied the akanksha is over only if there is an akanksha you will look for other shabdas other lingas ityadi linga prakarana sthana ityadi if the shruti by her own word is fulfilling the akanksha as to what is the meaning just like you do anvaya in anvaya if the akanksha is there you look for other karakas with the kriya pada if the karaka has been supplied if at all visheshana akanksha is there you can look for it but then if no akanksha is left then why would you look for anything else there is no reason in fact it's a dosha to supply something when there is no akanksha there will be no anvaya it will be a, it, it will be like cha va ityadi some uh, some meaningless words if it is not fitting in the context at all so th- these are called as gap fillers only to make the uh even in a in a in a poetic work if you find words which are having no anvaya such words are are fillers to make the chanda complete it will just make the meter complete they don't have meaning they have no anvaya so it will be those kind of words which is not there in shruti in shruti the word is there but by itself it is fulfilling the akanksha then you don't look for any other pramana okay so we have spent enough time on this uh, further it will be easier now since uh, it shows that the meaning in mundaka is brahma of the ayatana of trilokya ayatana not only is that brahma the meaning as ayatana adishtana but it is not upasya brahma it is niya brahma so brahma paratvam eva na pradhanaadi paratvam iti bhavah jubhadyayatanam ब्रह्म इत्यत्र हेतु अंतरवाह सो देयर इज अ कॉपी पेस्ट एरर हियर दिस इज ड्यू ओके इट इज द दकारा एंड ड्यू हैज बीन रिटन हियर आई थिंक आई डिड अ सिंस देयर वेयर फॉन्ट एरर्स और समथिंग सो आई डिड अ यू नो अ कॉपी पेस्ट अक्रॉस द डॉक्यूमेंट एंड दैट्स व्हाट हैज हैपेंड हियर सो इट शुड बी सीन एज दिस ड्यू नॉट एज द दकारा एंड ड्यू दिस अकर्स एल्सवेयर and then there is some typo there so please ignore those it is wherever you see this kind of formation it is jubvadyayata jubvadi so jubvadyayatanam brahma ityatra hetvantaram ah then second sutra gives the separate hetu another hetu for ayatana of triloka lokatraya being brahma so i'll use it's easier to pronounce i'll say lokatraya ब्रह्म इत्यत्र हेतुंत्र वा मुक्तोपसृप्य व्यपदेशात मुक्तोपसृप व्यपदेशात मुक्त मुक्तोपसृप्य व्यपदेश दैट इज अ सिंगल वर्ड सो 
सो मुक्तोपसृप्यम मुक्त रूप सृप्यम टू मेनी टाइपोज हियर जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट थिंक आई नीड टू कीप अ प्रिंटेड बुक एज वेल Yeah, it's it's okay. So muktei hi upasupyam. Muktei. So I read differently. So okay, I read mukta rupa. So muktei hi upasupyam. That is the tritya tatpurusha there. Muktei hi upasupyam. Mukto upasupyam. So mukto upasupyam. Samasa is what tritya. This uh, tatpurusha. तृतीय समास तत्पुरुष समास मुक्त ही उपसृप्यम उपसृप्यम मीन्स प्राप्यम दैट विच इज एटेन्ड बाय मुक्तास बाय दोज हू आर मुक्त मुक्त पुरुषास बाय देम व्हाट इज प्राप्य ब्रह्म तस्य मुक्त ही उपसृप्य से प्राप्य से व्यपदेशा सो दैट विच इज प्राप्य बाय द मुक्ता वॉट एवर दैट एंटिटी इज तस्य व्यपदेशा एंड व्हाट इज अटेंड बाय मुक्ता ब्रह्म वेद ब्रह्म ही वी सो ब्रह्म इज अटेनेबल बाय मुक्ता ब्रह्म इज उपसृप्य सो तस्य ब्रह्मण व्यपदेशा देर फोर वॉट देर फोर दि आयतन फॉर जुग्वादी इज वॉट ब्रह्म सो वॉट इज दि सूत्रार्थ जुग्वाद्यायतन ब्रह्म कुछ मुक्तोपसृप्य व्यपदेशा वॉट इज एटेनेबल बाय मुक्ता वॉट इज एटेन्ड बाय ब्रह्म बाय बाय मुक्ता इज ब्रह्म and therefore that is the ayatana why because your jnana of that adishthana brahma veda one who knows brahma attains brahma one who knows the ayatana brahma attains brahma as though attainment is figurative because he is in swarupa brahma never has he jnani even in the ajnana avastha been different from brahma he is always been brahma so prapyasya prapti jnanena so this jnana is revealed by aikya jnana of the former upasaka who is now jignyasu he is aikya with brahma is revealed by the mundaka shruti यस्मिन नोतम तम आत्मा जानथ जानथ इज शब्द आई यूज देर फोर इट इज ज्ञान पर इट इज नॉट उपासना परा मे यू नो सो वेन यू से मे यू नो दैट फॉर मुक्ति देन दिस मुक्त हु वॉज फॉर्मर उपासका अज्ञानी नाव अज्ञानी आफ्टर बिकमिंग ए जिज्ञासु दैट ज्ञानी बीइंग मुक्त वॉट विल यू अटेन दैट अटेनेबल प्राप्य उपसृप्य इज ब्रह्म because it is taught in that upanishad so mukto upasrupya tasya mukto upasrupyasya brahmana prapyasya brahmana vyapadeshat due to the teaching so the ayatana has to be brahma because you are asked to know the ayatana where by you will be free so if you know the ayatana as pradhana then how will you attain brahma you will attain pradhana and attaining pradhana will you be free no puro pakshi will is also not claiming that you have to attain uh, if at all he says you attain a loka it is not pradhana loka there is nothing called as pradhana loka jeeva loka it is brahma loka so even if you say it is upasana and you have to attain brahma brahma loka how will you attain it by knowing pradhana as the adishthana or jeeva as the adishthana you will attain it only even in upasana only if you know adishthana as brahma then only you will attain brahma loka similarly when it says janatha then no not pradhana not jeeva but no brahma which is the adishthana for everything and that atma brahmaatma which you are will free you and you will attain brahma as though brahma veda brahma eva bhavati muktai upasrupyam mukto upasrupyam bhava pradano ayam nirdeshah so bhava pradano means mukto upasrupyatvam you have to read as 
मुक्तोपसृप्यम तस्पदेशा सो मुक्तोपसृप्यपदेशा दिस इज दि ऐडिया भाव प्रधान भाव इज दट यू हेव टू रीड अ तो देर वन अटेन्स दि ब्रह्मत्व भाव no one does not attain brahma as do one attains brahmatva from jeevatva one jumps to brahmatva in understanding there is a jeevatva limited being there is a there is a li- limitedness in that being that limitedness goes away and the limitlessness comes in in its place therefore it is brahma brahmatva prapti brahma prapti is brahmatva prapti and jeeva dropping out jeeva is giving dropping of the jeevatva meaning jeeva bhava is dropped and brahma bhava is attained that is bhava pradana ayam nirdesha tatha cha tatha vidwan nama roopa dimukta parat param purusham upaiti divyam this is mantra mundaka mantra iti brahmano avidya tatkarya sakala anartha ucchheda dwara mukta prapyatvasya vyapadishyamanatva So what is he to? Vyapadesha is a teaching due to the teaching. Vyapadishya mana is shana chanta. It is just saying vyapadishya mana is a be, karmani being being shown karmani shana being shown with the dish the uh, vyapadishya we so vyapadish and you see the karmani yak there yak so karmani shana vyapadishya mana tuat is the meaning of vyapadesha being taught so in this mantra iti. In which mantra? Tatha vidwan nama rupat vimukta san. Being freed mukta ha from nama rupa. Nama rupa is mithya. Satchidananda Brahma the nama rupa. Asti bhati priyam nama rupa. This is panchaka. Says Bhagwan Vidyarani Chare in Panchadashi. आद्यत्रय इज वॉट इज स्वरूप ब्रह्म एंड दि अदर टू नाम एंड रूप आर मिथ्या सो विद्वान विद्वान इज हू ज्ञानी हू हेज बिकम मुक्त सो तथा विद्वान इन दिस मैनर इन दैट मैनर द वे इट हेज बीन टॉट यस्मी ओतम प्रोतम तम आत्मा विजान वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड यू विल बिकम विद्वान से श्रुति देन दैट विद्वान हू एवर इट इज तथा विद्वा नाम रूपा विमुक्त सन बीइंग फ्री फ्रॉम नाम एंड रूपा दिस विद्वान परात परम पुरुषम उपैति दिव्यम सो परात परम परात व्हाट एवर यू नो टू बी परा द मोस्ट सुपीरियर दिस इज परा टू दैट आल्सो कंपेयर टू द अव्यक्त परा आल्सो अव्यक्त प्रधान आल्सो प्रधानात व्हाट एवर इज द हाईएस्ट दैट यू नो अव्यक्तात प्रधानात व्हाट एवर यू सप्लाई टू परा That that para para compared to that para also this purusha is para. Pradhanadapi para so Pradhanadapi Pradhanadapi param purusham upaiti divyam. Divyam purusham upaiti. The avyakta, maya, prakriti, pradhana, all these are not divya. They don't have their own shine. The shine, the luster, the all that attracts. All the karyas which attract are there in the karana. That karana, if it is pradana, it has no luster at all of its own. It has nothing to attract you. That attraction, everything is for one's own sake. Atmanastu kama ya sarvam priyam bhavati sevi shruti. Bhrad mantra after a lot of, no lot of analysis of. whatever is priya for what sake the spouse is priya for what sake the putra is priya for what sake who sake for who sake everything becomes priya finally concludes saying what atmanastu kamaya sarvam priyam bhavati everything is dear one loves anything and everything only for one's own sake not for anything else and that one is brahmatma for one's own swarupa we all want to go back to our original nature which somehow has got clouded we have somehow as though lost it we all want to go back to our natural state swasthya in even in uh, physically we want to go to our natural state we want to be in our natural state anything unnatural happens to us 
we are uncomfortable so that shows that everyone is happy everyone wants happiness so the natural state has to be happiness ananda has to be our natural swarupa our natural state even by logic logically if you look at it if you have ill health you don't want it nobody wants ill health one may say you know i had one uh, satsangi uncle who used to say oh i love being sick why he does not love being sick he says you know you no know, ah, ah ah i just had oh you know just cry out loudly you can cry out even as a responsible uh, whatever you know if you see uh, the old school people who say that oh, i am not dependent on anyone but you can you know very uh, easily cry out and express your pain and take pleasure in that as others are listening people come and visit you they take care of you so he used to, you know jokingly say that i like being sick that way so what do you like really you like you know people taking care of you paying more attention to you even if you are egoistic at that point of time they let it go why because say papa not well you know so let let him get you know get well and then we'll give it back so this is the you know thinking but then fact is that you would never want to be in your unnat you never want to leave your natural state you never want to be ill you never want to lose your health that that health that swasthyam is swasya uh, uh, swasthasya bhava swasthyam in ayurveda also who is swastha swasmin tishtati iti swastha one who remains in oneself one's own health is what remaining in oneself really ayurveda also says that finally you have to be in your own self that self is atma brahmatma that is swastha swastha sthiti which is and its bhava is swasthyam that is health really so ayurveda's conclusion of good health is after physical health mental health is taken care of you land on your spiritual health which is your own being be there that is your natural state so since everyone is uncomfortable in dukkha everyone is searching for sukha it shows that the way one wants to go back to one's natural state any which way oh, i am comfortable with this in office work i want only that anything other than that you are uncomfortable even in office work so in work in health in every pursuit you want to go back to your natural state whatever you are uncomfortable in that is not your natural state similarly if everyone is uncomfortable in dukkha and seeks sukha that is your natural state so logically you your swarupa has to be ananda this is all based in shruti but then logically if you analyze it you know it it makes your buddhi happy it uh, you don't have doubts then and then you can easily grow more and more shraddha towards shruti this is the use of logic it is not independent logic the logic has to have foundation in shruti shruti says atma is ananda swarupa oh i have doubts i have no questions with sat and chit but i have doubts with ananda so much of dukkha is there there is marana everywhere there are wars going on family has health problems i have health problems there is dukkha all over death in the family all this is dukkha so how can you say ananda swarupa everyone has this question how can you say that atma is ananda swarupa oh you want to go back to ananda just like every living being be it a vriksha also the vriksha is happy looking for sun sun rays a coconut tree which is so tough even takes such unbelievable bends while growing to search for sunlight it bends to in in villages we say that it bends towards the house why because even the vriksha wants to be close to people they like the talk in the house so this this may all this this may not be believable but scientifically you know that the bend of the trees is such that they grow and bend in such a manner that they they don't have the sun rays blocked wherever there is a block they will take a turn and grow in such a manner that they get sun rays they sun rays make them happy so every jeeva even a vriksha is searching for sukha that means the swarupa of each and every jeeva is ananda thereby parat param purusham upaiti divyam divyam purusham parat api 
परम कसह पर दिव्यम पुरुषम उपैति वन अटेन्स दिस विद्वान अटेन्स बीइंग फ्री फ्रॉम नाम एंड रूप अटेन्स दैट द हाईएस्ट हायर देन द हाईएस्ट सुपीरियर देन द मोस्ट सुपीरियर पुरुष हु इज दिव्य हु हैज हिज ओन ज्ञान हैज ओन चैतन्य एंड देन बाय एक्सटेंशन सत्य एंड आनंद आल्सो इति ब्रह्मण अविद्या तत्कार्य सकल अनर्थ उच्छेद द्वारा मुक्त प्राप्त प्राप्यत्वस्य मुक्त प्राप्यत्व मुक्त प्राप्यस्य एंड भाव निर्देश भाव प्रदान निर्देश सो मुक्त मुक्त प्राप्यत्व ब्रह्मत्व ब्रह्मत्व से व्यपदिश्यम देर इज द टीचिंग हाउ द्वारा थ्रू वॉट थ्रू सो दिस मुक्ति मुक्त प्राप्य ब्रह्म ब्रह्मत्व द ब्रह्मत्व के नॉट टेक प्लेस फॉर एनी जीव अनलेस देर इज वॉट उच्छेद उच्छेद द्वारा देर इज उच्छेद थ्रू ज्ञान देर इज एन अविद्या उच्छेद एंड अविद्या इज वॉट ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण मुक्त प्राप्त प्राप्यत्व ब्रह्म इज मुक्त मुक्त प्राप्य एंड देर फॉर ब्रह्म हेज वॉट मुक्त प्राप्यत्व इट हेज दैट ब्रह्मत्व ब्रह्म हेज ब्रह्मत्व वॉट इज दट ब्रह्मत्व ब्रह्मत्व इज मुक्त प्राप्यत्व दो मुक्ता बाय दो मुक्ता वॉट इज अटेनेबल इज ब्रह्म ब्रह्मत्व ब्रह्म भाव एंड दैट इज थ्रू वॉट द्वारा उच्छेद द्वारा इट इज थ्रू दि उच्छेद थ्रू दि रिमूवल कंप्लीट रिमूवल ऑफ वॉट ऑफ अनर्थ वॉट आर दि अनर्थ ऑल दि एडवर्सिटीज वॉट आर दि एडवर्सिटीज अविद्या एंड तत्कार तत्पद न अविद्या अविद्या एंड अविद्या कार्य दि अविद्या एंड इट्स कार्य सकल अनर्थ इट इज कंप्लीट अनर्थ आर अप्रूटेड एंड थ्रू दैट देर इज एटेनेबिलिटी ऑफ ब्रह्म तस्य ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मत्व भाव से ब्रह्म भाव से ब्रह्मत्व से ब्रह्मत्व भाव से व्यपदिश्यम सिंस इट हेज बीन टॉट इट इज बीइंग टॉट इन दी श्रुति थ्रू एंड थ्रू अतः दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ हेयर अतः जुब्वाद्यायतनम ब्रह्म एवैत्यर्थ एंड दिस इज द रीजन अनदर रीजन व्हाई द आधार ऑफ लोकत्रय इज ब्रह्म सिंस द आधार इज बीइंग टॉट एज to be known for mukti and that adhara itself is as though attainable it has to be brahma it cannot be pradhan or jiva because that is not taught as attainable one attains brahma parat para purusha purusha parat para purusha no sankhya sankhyavadi no sankhya grantha claims pradhan as purusha they th- they always teach that pradhan and purusha are different so even sankhya will not accept that purusha is pradhana so they will also say purusha upayati okay okay then it ha- it cannot be it cannot be uh, pradhana what about jiva it cannot be jiva because jiva does not attain himself he is already a- already attained so he will also say jiva is attained then why will he do upasana or why will he try to know the adhikarana he is already so if if say you you will become what you already are be serious You will become what you already are, but you do not know yourself as Brahma. So you will as do attain Brahmatva. But if the if the Puro Pakshi says one the meaning is Jiva of the Ayatana, Triloka Ayatana, Lokatra Ayatana, then then if you teach the Jiva that by this Upasana or Nyana also you will become Jiva. He is already a Jiva. Therefore, that second Purusha interpretation as Jiva also will not make sense. it has to be brahma who is divya we will stop here uh, again we are overshot i have overshot the class but um, uh, in the other sutras will be easier we we'll stop here amnayan tak samsiddham adimat dhyant varjitam aananda ghana purnam atma jyoti rupasmahe tat sat dhanyavada namaste नमस्ते धन्यवाद